It is time for the main card. We are all big chilling. Majima is chilling with us. As Pinhead, the double champion, is looking to get a third win in a row. This time against Jetstream. He took Varix out last time. Can he do it against another Nago? That is definitely a friendly name. And the star is is. so important for Jetstream because the moment you're in that high blood situation, it becomes so hard to actually get in on this Axel and it becomes all about Pinhead. And right now, Space is really solidly avoiding Beyblades. And Jetstream now at high blood, no tension, so no fast BRC ways to try and get in. It's all about that slow walk down, but Pinhead is not allowing that right now. Controlling it completely. He's gonna take this time. Name. Not really taking uh, many risks, obviously. I mean, that's Pinhead, especially there, right? Like, you play the Zona character, you get the life leads. Big chill. It's uh, Jetstream's turn to take risks right now. And he doesn't have bars. So he's not gonna, like, do a craziness with Blue RC, Axel Bomba. And that's gonna be enough. Pinhead getting game number one. Shout out to those who. Uh, Chat, were you there when uh, Wanted Strive was actually on Sundays? Because when we started Wanted Strive, we were actually running them on Sundays. Then COVID ended, events came back, and it was impossible to do stuff Sundays. So we moved to Fridays. Throwback. Right now, Pinhead again looking in control. How does Jetstream get in on this? The high blood, Nagu. Can't really do much. Well, oh, counter hit 5H. That's one way of trying to get in. Try to fish for maybe a 2H oh. counter hit as well. Oh, here we go. 2S now. Nice, but no conversion. Escapes one. Oh, the gold burst works. That's actually amazing because you get to go ham. He was waiting for the burst. He's waiting for the burst again. Your pinhead is not bursting. He's keeping the burst. He will hold. Garfield, you had burst. Yes, I have it for next round. Save it to burst on the Mondays because Pinhead is definitely hating the Mondays right now. Trying to back off. Oh, Jetstream starts to go a bit wild. But cannot find the opening. Now it's back to a similar situation. This game of chess. How does Jetstream get close enough to find that counter hit? I Jetstream just wait. looking for whiff punishes. The space on Jess on Pinhead has been absolutely clean. I so really far. enjoy the, the approach because you don't see that approach like much on Strive, right? A, a slow, methodical, but that's exactly how you're supposed to play if you play Axel, especially against Nago. You get the life lead and you stay far and you keep him away. Because he needs bar, he needs to take a risk to get in. He will get his counter hit, he will get his openings at times. When's the burst? You're, he, this man is not bursting. Oh my god. After 37 burst baits, he baits the right one. And Jetstream takes game number one. <laughs> oh. He stayed out with that fishing line out there for so long. Jetstream said, I am getting this burst. Whether you like it or not. Even if it costs the game. He was not going to live without the burst, man. He was not going to live without. Ugh. Oh. He uh, was patient and he caught it in the end. 1-0 for the challenger. And it's interesting, right? Because it felt like the rounds were really in Pinhead's favor, but that's also who Nago is. It's uh, it's in your opponent's favor until you get that one opening and then GG's. Yeah, well, it's helpful. It's just one sort of big count hit 5H and it just immediately changed the momentum, the pacing of the game. Okay, then. Use that. Take that screen space back and now Jetstream in the corner again finding some counter hits immediately dashes in and what a confirm again that he's not gonna give any chance uh, yep yeah. ah, I thought that would get the wall break but no chance one chance then for the Axel Bomba he's not gonna keep the corner right just wants to go back to neutral and keep that now go away the jump through attempt not gonna amount too much. And Pinhead keep his opponent away, but what can he do with this ball? Maybe look to confirm into the one vision. 
Maybe that is the way for Pinhead. Maybe just to save it for a YRC. In case Jetstream tries to go crazy as the time is slowly <gasps> oh. ticking down. Oh, Spike. He stomped on more than just the shoes. He stomped from the head. From the head up, he got stomped on. What a stomp. What a stomp. My man could go close and I was like, hold up. I'm in boots range. <laughs> let's get that hit. Five. Five here and let's see. The pressure is on, but not much. A great jump from Jetstream. Still trying to get in with the Beyblade. Ooh, this time Pinhead is going to burst. No bait. Ooh, fast PRC coming. Clutch for Pinhead. Similar life on both sides. Jetstream still has burst. Do we see maybe something wild to get a gold burst? No, just going to pop it there to keep Pinhead tied down in the corner. Finds a nice counter hit. Confirm. Easy to stare down. Jetstream getting thrown and now it's the mix from Pinhead gets the overhead into another overhead so much effort to get this round but it's taken Pinhead saves it oh no oh gaming gaming video games game awards <laughs> our nominees today Jetstream Jetstream and Jetstream Pinhead trying to deny that though Say, hold on, wait a moment, it's my time. Yep. So I just like cheap. And yeah, that's the, the critical thing is to avoid the Beyblade, but it's not gonna do much anyway. He's got the burst. So one chance to either get baited or get away. Pinhead not really getting much pressure on. Oh no, the burst. Yeah, that was that was pretty much checkmate. Unless you get the burst at the perfect moment to uh you know hit the interaction. That was GG's. Pretty the nail on the head. You'd have to like look into the coding. You'd have to look matrix start to figure out the exact frame to trade with like the hitbox, but that's one of those just rough situations where you damned if you do, damned if you don't, pretty yeah. much with that burst. And now just like that, even though Pinhead, like we said, has had control most of the time, it's just managing to close the rounds out. Close the games out and right now. Got Pinhead stuck in the corner, forces the burst just to keep Pinhead tied down. The JH is putting in some work slowly for Pinhead. Nice just block, but it just gets Jetstream the throw. Alright, this pressure is on you. The low, life is pretty low on Pinhead's side. Jetstream is looking better and better. The 5D going to land. Jetstream is keeping the streak alive. Pinhead. After the amount of pressure Pinhead managed to put on Varix last time, right? It's such a different matchup today. Yeah, it is. Maybe it's just sort of playing for the fact that it is a first to seven. Oh, that's gonna be the counter hit. Straight draw bomb and nice stuff from Pinhead. Getting that perfect there. Tying the rounds up. And sometimes the early start. Doesn't always work out as well. And it might make the adjustments later on. And now we're starting to see those 2K2D checks more that we're used to seeing from Pinhead. The go to challenge button of Axel. And we're back to full screen. But of course, as Pinhead is the one with the life lead, he's the one who's gonna wait. Not gonna take many risks. See, he's trying to bait the burst, to bait anything. A man is taking zero risk for now. Anti air. And Pinhead just needs the opening. Oh, the backdash actually got away, but watch out. Come on, backdash. Jesse knows this is the round to take. Bursts. Oh, beautiful timing on the Beyblade. Pinhead, though, trying to jump away as far away as he can. Nice block, though. No checks here. Only cash. Jetstream having spent his and Pinhead spending the burst and now Pinhead with all this tension oh. to work with. Oh. Oh. And yet again, it's Jetstream managing to close these tight, tight games out. And because of that, Jetstream now has a 3-0 lead. I mean, remember when, when Beyblade being minus was a nerf? If you guys don't know what minus means, it, it means I can press a button after. 
Just, just in case you don't know. But not in Strife! <laughs> not, not when you Nago. Not, not in Strife. Alright, let's go. 3 0! Drone at games, but Jetstream wins in the end. Strong start right there, though. Ooh. Pile on that damage, but. Immediately, it's that like counter hit, and now. Oh, wow, we wake up 2k2d. Why not? Can they start to go a little bit crazy? Starting to find some counter hits of his own. Tokyo Tomore. Pinhead takes the round. And wants to get some momentum, but the Beyblade is so good at just closing space. And you can see also, like, Jetstream is not just spamming Beyblade, he's waiting to see when are the natural breaks in Pinhead's. The pressure strings. Waiting a bit, trying to jump over. We've seen Pinhead putting the pressure now, but a great challenge by Jetstream. Yeah, start picking up on the timings that Pinhead's thrown out. We've seen that with those counter hits, but. Of course, sleeping bomb at the wheel. How many bombers? All the bombers. Still not enough though. The guts of Nago. Ooh. Oh my god, wow, no way. The gold Pinhead burst. <laughs> <laughs> These gold bursts are rude, bro. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's actually just stream my phone. Sickle Storm, no fast BRC this time, but. What? Stream. What? What's what? happening? Was he a bit too far to get the jump in punish? Because that's a natural punish, right? You block the first one, you jump over the second one. But I think he might have been too far. I wonder, because he... Did he FD? Did it push back so he was too far to get that jump in? That is the extent of my analysis. For this pinhead one, <laughs> chest stream three. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh well, mediator natural first bait. Small win from a uh, pinhead for the get go. Yeah. Avoids a wild goal burst from the grass. Chest stream low. Oh, find the counter hit. Yeah, again, going to slowly try and fish for another counter here. RC, keep the pressure going. The risk gauge building up. Pinhead. We've seen a lot of jump backs, but now it's just down back and still gets clipped, though. Oh, counter hit 2H. That's going to be Jetstream. Lost the burst, but took the round there. Yep. The round start winning is irrelevant in this situation. And now it's Pinhead trying to uh, control anything, but Jetstream gets in, gets the bite as well. But a lucky burst and up a gold burst for Pinhead, potentially stopping time when needed. That's that's a way to mix up. Starts running straight in, starts putting in the pressure and mixing up Jetstream now. Here we go, Pinhead. After whatever happened that previous game, starting to go a little bit more aggressive. And then, now that he's got the life lead, immediately dials it back down. Okay, to be nice. Can he get enough to kill, Axel Bomba? No, need a bit more, but but Beyblade exists. Oh no! Yep, 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 yep. He was trying to stay close for the pop, but not happening. Pinhead is making sure he punishes it. The gap was too wide, unfortunately. Burst, keep Pinhead in the corner. The J B F D from Pinhead is still not enough. Super at the wall. That, yes. Is that enough? Is Magic Pixel maybe? Ah, he's alive, he's alive, yeah, he's alive. He's made of paper, but still. And you know what? He's not gonna need much more. Jetstream 4, Pinhead 1. What can the champion do? Because this spot on the title, uh, on the throne, is starting to look difficult to keep. The crown starting to waver from the head of Pinhead right now. Starting to lose out on these RPS situations. This axle made of paper. Losing to the sword of Nago. Why isn't Nago made of paper? Like, he hits so hard, he should get hit too. But you know, who am I to uh, talk about the vision? I am but a simple uh, Eno player. 
who hasn't uh, reached the Inoue's top one mindset yet. So you know, instead of uh, blaming the beast, I will reflect on myself. I will instead just choose to to blame whoever, <laughs> and hope that blaming leads to Leo buffs. But right now, Pinhead. And then bring in that time stop, bring in the bombers. Sickle storm to end. The... Wow, that's still not enough. I can't believe I didn't kill. You spend 100 tension <laughs> and you might lose the round. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, nah. Save it, save it. 2k, 2d. And Pinhead. At least guess the round. That was looking difficult, I can't lie. Oh, oh. Opportunity finds a counter here afterwards, stomping away, doing a little drip check on Pinhead right now. But Pinhead accepts that challenge with that 2k dude D showing off the boots right there. And now, what we've seen before Jetstream, high blood Pinhead with resources. But all it takes, like we've seen, is one huge counter hit on Jetstream's side to change this momentum. Go from the slow pace to a more fast pace. Pinhead starts to go a little bit more aggressive now, keeping the tempo ever changing. Needs to be careful. And he's got the bar. Both of them got bursts. But you can see that many mistaken until a blade exists. And now, will you burst or not? Pinhead has uh, usually decided to keep the burst for later. And somehow it's working. An issue, an error, of course, from a jet. Oh, no, yeah. There's the burst there. Avoids the command grab. No clothesline this time. Keeping it dry. And right now, oh. jet stream. Oh, the coverage. That was actually smart as hell. Oh, my God. How many Beyblades countered? I think most of them have been counter hits. Crazy. The big like damage said. now. Too many is definitely oh. the answer. Hold board. As Jetstream is dealing the damage, the round start this time goes in Pinhead's side, but he is so much against an who still got a burst. Yeah, but with me on his side, Jetstream. A lot more comfortable just to down back and wait for the moment, find that right time. It's worked out so far for Jetstream, this Ooh. kind of game plan. Here we go, though. Close line. You, you mean first, that's fast. Oh my god! No, no, that was sick. Oh my god. That was such a sick conversion! He's not dead, though. But he okay. gets the jump. Pinhead, optimal as ever. I saw Sickle Storm and I thought, please don't happen again. Please don't tell me you're spending 100 tension and losing the round again. Please. Not again. I can't handle it. My heart. My heart can't take it. Yeah. Pinhead was a uh, clutch and ready. 4-2. Still a lot to do. To come back, but he's at least showing he can. Shout out to EMEA FGC for the raids. Welcome, guys. Main card of the day. Pinhead versus Jetstream. And so far, it's Pinhead trying to get some kind of momentum. The champion's in trouble! Oh no. Oh my, what is that combo? That was sick, Jetstream. Yeah, again, another counter hit Beyblade. Slowly piling up the risk. It's in the red for Pinhead now. Needs to start charging to get out. And does so, but still. Close to the corner, gotta be careful. Oh, counter hit challenge yet again. The 2k2d working out for Pinhead. Gonna get a bomber at the wall. At least make the life deficit a little less large in the gap. And now, Ooh. big counter hit. So, what to do? Ah, oh, that's not brossable, yep. That is a clean one again. Pinhead was ready to stop time and convert. And now he's one game away from reducing the lead once again. Unless. 
I can get command grabbed by a vampire. Oh no, can it DP, but no major conversion off that. That could have probably been the round and Pinhead. Give it a chance. Fast BRC. Jetstream's not over. Toying with the prey. Now at high closing in on high blood yet again. Using the buttons of Nago in the air just to try and help avoid some of these grounded buttons of Axel as Pinhead yet again. Sitting on a decent amount of bar. Has burst. Do we see another time stop? Both of them are extremely patient. This time though, it's just him with the life lead, so he's the one who could potentially wait for Pinhead to lose patience. But you know, Beyblade is uh, too much of a trusty little tool. A bit scary, here we go. Oh my goodness, the overhead. The burst comes out from Jetstream though. One more chance to try and type the rounds, but the fall in JH is too much and Pinhead now starting to eat away at the lead that Jetstream has built up. Starting to no longer eat as many counter hit Beyblades. This is looking like the exact same as the previous set, right? Smoib went up four very early and then Jetstream was like, hold up, I can play video games too. And it's uh, Jetstream in the end getting the full win, so... Can Winhead do the same? He's so small. Getting hit by this against Jetstream. Can he avenge Mr. Smeed? Will we see a repeat of what you've said? Or will Jetstream manage to build the lead back? Or oh. a slightly fast paced start as Jetstream trying to find the way in? Can't. Right now, and after a crazy little early exchange. Oh, this time, the Beyblade getting clipped. Pinhead now starting to adjust. Starting to deny Jetstream the way in. Jetstream getting a little bit wilder with these jumpings. Can't find the way in. Oh, nice 6P though. But it's not really going to work out all that much. And Pinhead now, again, has control, has the lead. But Jetstream knows. Has life used that as a resource to get in and find that counter hit and completely turn the tables? It's about finding that hit. Oh, no. Pinhead instead finds it and closes the round. It looks like not much can kind of stop Pinhead's momentum right now. He's walking, get, doesn't get hit by the curse round start. But Nago is finally bringing the hit. Now Pinhead is your turn. Let's see if uh, we can get some pressure on this Nago. At least he's chipping away some stuff, some uh, a bit of life. Yeah, it's not as bad as the previous round. Oh, big counter hit though, off that BLC interaction. Here we go. Can it 6P? Not really anything. Sickle Storm, wake up. This time is going to get punished. It's not a great punish and. Still gives Pinhead a chance to close this game out right now. Well, slash indeed. Jetstream going to slice man up. And that's an important one, right? It's 4 4 or 5 3. There's a big difference between these two situations. He's just block FDs from Pinhead now. Oh. They were working out, but now he's like kind of hit. Stuck in the corner, there's that 2k2d challenge, this time blocked. Which means Pinhead's still stuck in the corner. Oh, double 2h. One more touch needed on Jetstream's side. Can't find it though. Oh no! The complete lack of respect and he gets the counter into the slice! Jetstream, at this moment in time, decides to just throw respect out of the window. And press these damn buttons. And man did they work. 5-3. Jetstream is looking good. Only two games remaining for him. To step on the throne. And kick Pinhead out. Like you got your time. It's my turn now. Yep. That chance to be the first Italian wanted champ. Like you mentioned before. Can Jetstream 
close two more games out or is Pinhead gonna try and eat your way back at this lead and try and tie things up and at least take us to a 5-4 so much effort on the Pinhead side right but he's just getting so little and so little from Jetstream and Jetstream whenever he hits him takes half of his life away if not more has been a difficult one to uh, deal with but Pinhead is not going to uh, give up just yet giving up his cringe Straight faxed. And every time Penny presses the button, it's that risk of is Jetstream gonna end up pressing the button and is Jetstream getting the counter hit? Nice BRC from Pinhead calling out that grapple. If I get a juggle, still got Pin got Jetstream stuck in the corner and Pinhead now just gonna back off. Reset to the neutral that we've seen so far. It's a nice little anti yeah, check there. The clash, but yeah, it's gonna try to keep it safe. And there we go. From a distance. Respecting social distancing. Wi Fi fight. And it's working for Pinhead. Close high working out, but now Jetstream gets that close S, and here we go. Unfortunately, got the meter when it hit, but it does not matter. 6P spin in. Super and just like that, Jetstream tying up the rounds with a perfect last round. First on deck for both players and Pinhead going a little bit aggressive this time instead of backing off. Going for a 2k round start. Can Jetstream make it 6 3? An important round right now for him. Trying to limit the solutions on Pin and Sides. Going to respect him a bit and again the 2h. Always trying to get a bit more. But head survives. Another counter into Zawadudo! To Kiwotomare! And then we run. Gonna get you where you're supposed to land. But the burst is used. And now Jetstream needs to find a way in. You say run for Jetstream right now. Pretty much next hit. Guaranteed to pin head the game. But the scary part is, you might even say the same about the Nago, the Whiff Punish instead gonna work out for Pinhead and Jetstream instead of extending the lead. Pinhead closing that distance yet again. But can Pinhead this time tie it up or are we gonna see another two game lead for Jetstream? There's a world of difference between 6-4 and 5-5 five, five, obviously. The players are there and ready. Pinhead, I mean... That's the approach, right? He needs to be solid, he needs to be clean from behind, but you're never gonna be constantly solid against Nago. There are always time where you slip. His job has been to mitigate and limit this, and he's been doing it well for the last few games. Starting to limit some of Jetstream's options. Jetstream finding the way in. Popping it, stuck in the corner right now. Almost the blood popping. Close to a pixel. But no blood rage right now. I'm sure the frustration is starting to set in. This jet stream being denied the way in. Let's get the damage on this axle is pinhead now. Zoning out, checking. And immediately swatch places, puts jet stream back in the corner. But here we go. Can't hit 2s. This is exactly what jet stream's looking for. And yet again, pinhead. <laughs> Little uh, staring contest in the middle. Both of the players were like, what are you doing? A day, a day to press. <laughs> Did Jetstream press something? No. And this time the punish lands. The greatest of punishes, but puts the pressure on Pinhead in the corner. Will he want to use that burst? No. He gets the conversion of a 2k. And Pinhead trying to make it work. Yeah, that might even be what... A high blood Nago can't really, really get off those kind of jumpings, maybe just because of Nago's jump speed. Oh, we dash in and then 5D. So yeah, maybe the, just because you're normally so used to seeing the, the, the jump as a. I can't really jump in this matchup because I'm too slow jumping, and we're kind of seeing that in the punish game as well, I guess. Oh, can't hit Beyblade. That's exactly what Jetstream's looking for. But again, the just block FDs immediately nullifying a lot of that pressure. But Pinhead still forcing it, still trying to find 
the lead and now Pinhead needs to make this comeback happen. That's gonna be a ton of work. There's burst, there's everything on Jetstream's sides. Pinhead with the Rensen. How can he chip away so much damage little by little when Nago can make you explode? Literally by sneezing on you. That's so tough because chipping away means Nago gets better guts. So I don't even think a 100 tension combo can actually kill Nago with this life right now. That's the scary thought. It hasn't worked so far for Pinhead. Slowly chipping away though. You know the baby blade's coming. It's just like, when shall I throw the baby blades? This is slow based. Stressful think... moment for a jet stream. 23 seconds left. And Pinhead does not care about being in danger mode because all he wants is to close the round. The big red bait blade button is there in front of Jetstream. Didn't have to press it that time. Didn't find the moment. Might find it this time. Does it get the OTG? And Pinhead picking up on that immediately. Establishing this neutral that we've seen so far for so long this set. Here we go, gets a hit. The next time with the RC. Alright, more Axel Bomba. Oh, the Beyblade is avoided. Pinhead is re navigating around all of the solutions that, that Jetstream has, but the blue RC getting in. Got to watch out. The bite might come at some point because we're getting close. We need blood level 3 right now. And Pinhead is taking his sweet time, looking for the opening, no button pressed. On Jetstream's side, no anti-air either, but he's not taking risks. And I just such control of the tempo right now, but Jetstream... Everything Pinhead's doing is being gathered for data. Jetstream trying to find the weakness in the code that is Pinhead's defense. But it stays strong for now. Alright, gets the opening. 2k to D. Ah! I thought he would bait the burst with that, with that RC. Hold up, 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 hold up. Okay. That was just Jetstream being like, I am going to take a, a wild guess and risk. And unfortunately for him, but fortunately for us viewers, it's 5 5. And you know what we do when it's 5 5? We go all in! Let me make the bets. Because it's the first to two now, guys, between Pinhead. Sorry, B Pinhead, otherwise I can't make the bet. Yep. And Jetstream. Two games for a championship. Best of two. Call it an Evo Japan set right now. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go, guys. Main card 5 5. It's time to go all in. And bet on who you think will win this uh, showdown. Winhead or Jetstream. The start goes on Winhead's favor, but you know all Jetstream needs is one Beyblade that lands. Oh, I think Jetstream wanted to burst, so Pinhead was in the corner. Unfortunately, just a little bit too late, and instead... Puts Jetstream in this awkward situation. We've seen him so often in. And has managed to find the way out, but... With the way Pinhead's starting to change up the timings now. Starting to see more dash-ins just to do little checks. Oh, here we go though. Jetstream. Yeah, he's attempt really to gain, but yeah, he, oh my god, yeah, he's icing here. Ice cold. Playing the game and I see more people are like, currently voting for Winhead. In chat, the bet is still open. It's the first to two between these guys. And big damage coming. For Jetstream. The last tournament set was in Pinhead's favor, but Jetstream gets the Beyblade. That's what he's been looking for and gets the super. And getting the super is huge. You want that hard knockdown so Pinhead can't just go back to the neutral. Jetstream now has a chance to at least tie the rounds up. Oh, the IBFD. The IBFD created so much space on this, but he does not care. As he's gonna come in and put the pressure. A very important round right now. You do not want to be the one trailing in this moment on the set, guys. Bets are still open for like maybe one more minute. So make sure you bet on your favorite. 
I'd love to see how the bets have been adjusted, to, like, on how the rounds go. Like, people <laughs> see Winhead winning the first round, they're like, oh yeah, Pinhead, all in. And now Jetstream, just like that. Saw the beam struggle, starting to power up. Support getting reduced, the tension goes up. Oops. And no is taken, and now it's a tense moment, right? I feel like I've seen that in every round. Oh my god, immediate anti-burst, unless he was mashing burst before. That is dead if it breaks the wall, but I'm not sure if it does break the wall. It does not. Oh, the close S afterwards closes it out. And that confirm into super was huge. Denies any possibility of burst. Yeah, did not, did not want to get, you know, like, you don't really want to wake up burst because you feel like it's the easiest to bait. Yeah. And we've seen you like Jetstream just coming in and out trying to uh, bait this one. But with this, Jetstream is at 6. Pinhead 5. Can Pinhead offer us a game 13? 60,000 esports money in the prize pool. In the bet pool, sorry, at the moment. And let's see if Winhead or Jetstream gets the win. Can we get to game 13? For now, we're getting damage from Nago. Oh no, Beyblade counter hit in the corner. Jetstream, gonna go for an OTG, wants to use a super at the wall. But now, even off this neutral, wow, using the 6p to clash and then Beyblade and in. And that is gonna be the round to Jetstream. One more round left. Tournament point in for Jetstream. Looking long for Pinhead. Can he make this comeback or is Jetstream going to close that out? Alright, he needs to escape the corner first. Jetstream is sitting on a burst, but you know how these Pinhead rounds go, right? They're long. Oh my god, the chase! You are not going anywhere. I am right next to you. And the burst saves him. Last chance. Oh my god. Gets away. And of a last chance for Pinhead right now. He doesn't have burst, but he's got some bar at least for damage. But Jetstream knows, and he's not taking risks, he's just walking and blocking. That's just blocks. Showing off that defense right now, and just like that Pinhead, changing up the pace a little. Goes from full screen to a little bit of mid screen, and now Jetstream has tension. Ooh. Where's it get popped? The BRC gets denied completely! And Jetstream back to square one. Now with all the bar Pinhead has, right? He could go for the command grab! No conversion. Uh, see, would have done a bit more, but Pinhead keeping all of the bars. How much can he do with this? Can he save that match point? You know the Beyblade is locked and loaded. <laughs> Saved! The longest comeback round possible! As Pinhead saves the first match point, can he save the second one? Trying to command that shit. Can't find the way in just yet right now. Beyblade. Pinhead avoids it this time. 6H keeping Pinhead locked down. And now Pinhead back to the wall. Needs to find some way to get out. Jetstream. Not over committing. Waiting for the moment. Waiting for the opportunity. Jetstream. Oh, risk is high on Pinhead though. Risk is high on Pinhead. The layup. Here we go. OTG pressure. Ooh, and that should be more than enough for Jetstream to close the game and get the win and give us for the first time an Italian champion on top of a wanted series. Jetstream is your new wanted champ, the champ shuffle.